Good morning. Today we're here at Walgreens. We're going to go ahead and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to point out as we come up to Walgreens here, is I noticed that their propane exchange tanks here are lower than I've seen pretty much anywhere right now. Uh, $22.99. Most places I've seen, $24.99 to $25.99. The one, if you don't have one to exchange, $60, that's pretty much the same price everywhere. But I thought this was interesting. So as soon as we come into Walgreens here, I notice that they have a lot of different Halloween decorations. Awesome little Halloween decor here. And they're all, most of it, 50% off. Buy one, get one, 50% off, equal or lesser value. It's a pretty good deal. I gotta say, they got a lot of cool stuff here. Look at this guy. I'm gonna name you Bones. And this particular Walgreens has a ton of Halloween candy. And I gotta say, there's some good options here. If you haven't gotten any Halloween candy yet, you may want to check out Walgreens. This is, uh, yeah, let's see here. $3.99, two for $6. So you might have to get two of the same on this deal, but 40% off. Or that's two for $6, and then they have some deal... Uh, let's see, and this is of equal or lesser value, so if, uh, maybe for these stickers of the 40% off ones, maybe you don't have to get the same. But still, I feel like this is a pretty good deal for Walgreens on Halloween candy. Some of these deals are a little pricey, but we did get a couple comments uh, across the country that Halloween candy has been a little low. Um, we haven't seen anything like that around here. No shortages on candy at all. They do have uh, the 80 snack bites of the Reese's Kit Kats for $20. That seems a bit much. Um, but yeah, they definitely have some deals here too. So it just says Mountain Dew, but I don't know if that includes Mountain Dew and all Pepsi products. They do have uh, these out here, but buy two at $7.99 each, get one free. Now that makes it $16 for three 12 packs, but for Walgreens, for them to have a sale like this, I don't feel like that's too bad. Uh, they do have the three 12 packs at Kroger right now for $14. Boy, so looks like Canada Dry and AW Root Beer here are $8.99. That's crazy. Like, this is the cheaper stuff. I don't know about Canada Dry, but I know about AW Root Beer. Uh, three for $12.99 is a pretty good deal. Um, but yeah, I would never pay $8.99 for any 12 pack. But three for $12.99, yeah, that's not bad. Back here by some of the laundry detergent. We've gotten more and more requests to check out some laundry detergents in some different areas. Uh, we pretty much know what the prices are at Kroger and like Meyer, but uh, it does look like they have some, uh, the seventh generation. Somebody was asking about this. It's been a while. Uh, they do sell it at Walgreens here. A little bit of a sale here. This one here is $13.99 down to $12.49. Expires October 22nd, 2022. Got a few days on that one. Looks like we got some sales on bounce uh, dryer sheets here. Buy three at $5.49, get one free. Well, okay, so I don't know. Like, is that on sale then for $5.49? So it probably is. I mean, yeah, I guess so. Um, something you would definitely want to check. But, yeah. I mean, if you don't mind spending a little in bulk, do the math. Make sure it's a better deal than what you're going to get somewhere else. But it's nice that Walgreens even offers some of these options. We've got like some. It's the lower price was five seventy nine, save eighty cents. So these are four ninety nine for the snuggles for seventy sheets. Though that doesn't sound like much. Lots of different options on Pomolive too. We have some diehard Pomolive uh, dish soap uh, fans on the channel here. Um, yeah. This is a pretty wide selection here. We've never seen, I don't know if I've ever seen this purple one here. What is this, lavender? Okay, now these are $2.49 on sale. On sale, $2.49. Yeah, just $2.49. You probably have to use your uh, Walgreens uh, card, or uh, like me, I lost that card years ago, so I used the phone number uh, that's linked with my account. Uh, but yeah, that guarantees you're going to be able to save 50 cents on that. I don't feel like that's a bad price either. Now, Dawn, well, this is the really big 100 or uh, 38 ounce Dawn here for $5.99. That's about the same price as it is everywhere. You know, so I mean, to come into Walgreens and get this for about the same price as what you're going to pay. I think Kroger's is $5.79, so you'll save, you'll spend 20 cents more, but not have to deal with the headache. 
So part of the reason why we came to Walgreens today is because we had a couple people that said that I should check out Walgreens and some of the sales going on. Uh, we actually did a video at Walgreens a while back, but it has been a while, months. Um, I will say some of this stuff looks a little pricey, but you know, some of it is going to be. Like this, one roll of scotch tape, <laughs> five twenty nine. That is ridiculous. They have some, well, obviously, okay, the cheapest one is gone. Uh, and this is more, right? That's a little bigger, but $5.29. We can find that cheaper, I don't know, pretty much anywhere. Um, but, you know, it's good that they sell this stuff. You know, it's a convenience store. Uh, slash, you know, we'll check out some of the medicine, see if they have any buy one. Sometimes they'll have buy one, get ones on those too. Uh, so we'll have to check that out here in a little bit. Some of these notebooks, yeah, this is crazy. Five-star notebook for $11.49. Yeah, that's right. Wow, that is insane. Look at this one, $13.99. Always got to check, make sure they're in the right place here. Yeah, that's, wow. I don't know, like, uh, go to Walmart for this stuff. They do have some sales on some of this stuff, but I still feel like it's way too much. Cycling back to the laundry detergent here. I did see a little bit of a deal as I walked by. $12.99 for the Tide Pods Oxy uh, 32... 40? Wait a minute. That says 32S. Okay, so that must be this one. So $12.99 for that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, some of these here, though. $14.99. We see this one on sale at Kroger a lot. Uh, it'll be on like a digital deal or something. $14.99 sounds a little much for as small as that is. Gain. I'll tell you what. Gain has just gotten really expensive. Man, this used to be really cheap. $12.49 regular price on sale for $10.99. But I feel like we can find this for $10 at some places. I know I saw this at Big Lots for $10. And who knows? It might have gone up in price. Really don't know. Uh, it's week to week. I did find some little pet treats here. They don't sell a lot of pet food, but um, looks like they got some. They got some of the blue here. Uh, these are more like, okay, snacks. Um, let's see, they do have some different dog foods here. Okay, they got pedigree. Everywhere's got pedigree. You're not a store unless you got pedigree. <laughs> uh, $8.99, yeah, that's a little expensive. Um, okay, so four for seven. Or two twenty nine dollars each. Save you a little bit. Not not much, but um, I mean, these are like $1.69 for the smaller cans in some places. I've seen them as high as $1.79. Uh, Caesar packets, two, <laughs> two twenty nine, two twenty nine. This is the most expensive I've ever seen these things. Uh, $1.50 at Target, I believe it is now. $1.40 at Kroger and Meyer. As far as cat food goes, the only cat food I see here is Meow Mix. Regularly $8.49. This is $5 pretty much everywhere else that I've seen. I've seen it for $5.99 at a couple places like, you know, like value stores, which I don't consider big lots of value store anymore. Or Family Dollar, it's usually right around $5.99. Kroger's $5. $5.29, I think it went up. $8.49 regular price is crazy. $6.99 on sale, though, so a little better. But, yeah, they don't have many options when it comes to cafe. They do have the blue tastefuls here. Let's see how many this is. This is 12 of them for $17.49. Eesh. Look at this. Nine lives. $3.79 for four cans. This, <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe we should just check out other things other than the food today. But uh, the Hormel completes here. $3.29 regular price. The highest I've seen these ever is $2.69. Uh, I saw them somewhere for $2.99. I think it was Family Dollar. Um, but two for six on a sale, I guess. Um, but they do, look at this. The Velvet, <laughs> four things of G's, $5.99. These are $4. I think they went up to $4.29 in uh, some stores, $4.79 some other places. Uh, $5.99, just crazy. Um, they have the chunky uh, microwavable ones here. Um, and these are two for five dollars, two fifty a piece. Regular price three forty nine. That is a little steep. Look at this. This is the highest price I've ever seen Progresso anywhere. Four dollars and twenty nine cents regular price. Uh, it is two for eight, so you can get them for four dollars. But 
This is stuff we just got to go to the grocery store for. That Progresso is actually on sale at Kroger until tomorrow. And you guys will see this video on Monday. Uh, these are $1.29 on the digital coupon. You can buy up to five at Kroger. $1.29. Take advantage of that deal. They do have the Campbell's Chunky Soups. It's funny these are the same price. Uh, $3.49 a can. Uh, and this is the 18.8 ounce can. Um... $3.49 regular price, but you can get them for $2.50, uh, two for five. That's the re that's the price at Kroger. So uh, for the sale price here is the price at Kroger, $2.50 a can. $3.49 regular price here, though. That's, I don't know. So they do have SpaghettiOs down here, but they're $1.99 a can. Four for $6, though. So a little bit of a better deal there. Still too much, if you ask me. Hey! Somebody was asking about this onion soup recipe soup and dip mix, the Lipton. She haven't been able to find it, huh? I haven't been able to find it either. Uh, it's a dollar ninety nine here. I don't know what this normally costs. I never really looked. Somebody left a comment about it the other day. Uh, it's cool to see they got it. They do have like some of these, see like this taco shell kit. Um, you know these have been going up in a lot of different. Now this is the mix here, five forty nine for this though. Uh, is actually close to the same price of what it is in most of the major grocery stores. It's, I think it's $5 at Kroger, but they haven't had them. Haven't been able to find these. And this is kind of the reason we check out other stores, because they are other options. If you can't find something in your grocery stores, check out Walgreens or Big Lots or Dollar Tree or Dollar General. That's why we go to these stores, because they are other options. You may pay a little more, but, you know, if they have it, then that's that's good. I would not have expected this. Um, now, this this is really the best deal that I've seen on the Annie's Macaroni and Cheese lately. And again, this is the organic. Two for four dollars, bringing these down to two dollars a piece. Regularly three dollars. Not much at all when it comes to pasta. I'm not surprised. Uh, they do have regular spaghetti, though. That's surprising. Usually we'll find like three or four barilla of regular spaghetti in the grocery stores. Two forty nine, dollars a little pricey. Uh, $1.80 at um, Kroger. But we have been seeing these kind of go up to $1.99. So keep that in mind. Uh, and they have the ready pasta here for two forty nine. dollars It's the same price as it is in the grocery stores. That's gone up at the grocery stores, too. So there are some things that are right about the same price. Maybe a little more. Now, this is a little crazy here. The Rayo's uh, pasta here. Look, see that? It is 24 ounces. 24 ounces. This is the bigger one. $10.99. That is a little high. Somebody was saying that the ones, the tuna, somebody was saying that the tuna creations at Walmart went up to $1.42. We're going to have to check next time we go because they were a dollar. Uh, $1.89 here. Or four for six dollars. So if you're gonna come here and shop, you might as well get six of these for four dollars, because you're gonna spend almost two for one. Dollar fifty a can for the cheapest tuna. I'm not too surprised, but it is the highest that I've ever seen this. Dollar fifty a can for the regular run-of-the-mill cheap Starkist tuna. Four for five dollars though. Uh, you can get them for a dollar twenty-five a piece if you get four of them. Um, and the albacore tuna. Well, I mean that's about the same as it is everywhere. Two twenty-nine. This has really gone up in price uh, pretty much everywhere. And you can get them four for seven. They do have the Hormel corned beef hash, which a lot of people have been asking about since the last time we went to Walmart. $3.29 a can here, though. Three for nine, though. So you can get three of them for $9, or you're going to pay $3.29 a piece. They also have the Libby's corned beef, which is about the same price as it is everywhere. Five, it's, you know, it's a little pricey, $5.99. They do have the celebrity uh, little hams here, canned ham, two for six dollars, regularly three forty nine. But we got a comment on this a while back, and we haven't been able to find it. It's funny the things you find in some of the weirdest spots. Three seventy nine for spam here. Uh, that's pretty much three sixty nine everywhere. So only ten cents more here. Um, the sun made raisins. This is a smaller canister than the big one at Kroger's. This is thirteen ounces. Um, regularly four seventy nine, which is nuts. Um, but two for five dollars this week. Yeah, I mean that that feels like it's worth two bucks, but they're gonna get you for another fifty cents on here. Jif is three ninety nine regular price. It is two for five dollars though, and these are two ninety nine everywhere. So yeah, okay, 
that's a pretty good deal considering how much it's gone up in the grocery store. So if you get the sale, get two of them, get two for five dollars. That's not bad. They do have a few little things here. People have asked about like the buttermilk uh, uh, pearl milling company. <laughs> uh, the pancake and waffle mix here, four dollars and seventy nine cents though. Let's see what size this is. It is two pounds, thirty two ounces, um, and thirty two ounce thing of Heinz ketchup. Seven dollars and forty nine cents. Well, it does okay. So, buy one at seven forty nine, get one fifty percent off. Uh, so yeah, you get another one for three seventy five. No thanks. Wow, that's ridiculous. That is way overpriced. Always getting comments on sweeteners and stuff. I just wanted to point out they do have the hundred packets of Splenda for five ninety nine, four nine four ninety nine pretty much everywhere else. But again. Prices seem to go up every day, so it could have changed in some of the stores. They do have the Truvia, which we get comments on. The Stevia Leaf, $5.29 for 40 packets. Oof, that is a little expensive. They do have the Stevia in the Raw, $3.99 for uh, 50 packets. And they do have the Equal. Funny that this is 115 Equal packets for $4.49. This has gotten really expensive everywhere. Not much, but they do have some spices here. So now the nice brand is the uh, Walgreens brand, or the one that they, that's like their store brand deal. This little teeny tiny thing of vegetable oil, the nice brand for $4.29. Same thing for the canola. This is 24 ounces for $4.29. Wow, that is expensive. They got some vinegar here too, apple cider vinegar, $3.49. It's a pretty big thing of it, 32 ounces. Here's a bit of a deal. On the Domino Sugar, still $3.99 for the four pounds. I don't know, I would question that price because we've been seeing it go up to $4.49 pretty much everywhere. They have the gold medal, five pounds all-purpose flour for $5.49. We've seen a lot of sales on gold medal, so you gotta keep your eyes out for that. And they've got the two pound box of the sugar in the raw, which somebody asked about for $5.79. Couple sales on coffee here. They got the um, different varieties of Starbucks coffee, six ninety nine for twelve ounces of uh, ground and the pods here, six ninety nine on sale. That's that's not bad. That's a pretty good deal actually. Regular price ten forty nine, about fifty cents higher on the regular price than everywhere else. But I'm surprised that it's not more than that. And nine ninety nine regular price for the ground, which is about the same as it is everywhere. So they do have a nice brand coffee, which I had no idea. Actually, let me know down in the comments if you've ever tried the nice brand coffee and if it's any good. Do have a sale on it, too, for $9, making it $4.50 a piece instead of $4.99 a pack. They do have a donut shop blend here. This is 32 of them for $12.99. Uh, yeah, folders, I can already tell it's a 25.9 ounce can, $13.49. They do have Dunkin' on sale also here for $6.99, except for the ground. The ground is $10.99 here, making it about a dollar more than most places, uh, the regular price. But, got to sell on these, that's good. Not the place you want to get Maxwell House. I do not see the light. I know someone was asking about the light blend of the Maxwell House. They do not have it here. They do have the original roast, however, that is the 30.6 ounce. For fourteen forty nine, that is crazy. Um, they do have the thirty point six five ounce of the wake up roast, thirteen forty nine. So a dollar cheaper there. This is definitely not the place to buy cereal. Boy, you know, look at some of these prices. I'm not going to go over all of them. Look at this regular size. That's the six. Yep, sixteen point six ounce box of raisin bran, six dollars and forty nine cents. Six dollars and forty nine cents. There's a okay. Buy one at six forty nine, get one free. Okay, well that's good then. So now it just went down to three twenty five a box. Well that makes a huge difference. Um, but yeah, regular price on these is insane. But yeah, okay. So just like anything else, you know you don't want to pay some of these regular prices. But if you find a deal like this, yeah, that's pretty good because regular price on raisin bran has been anywhere from three ninety nine to four forty nine, pretty much everywhere. So to buy two of these and get them for three twenty-five, dollars yeah, not bad. Looking at what's not on sale, though, like regular size boxes of Cheerios here for $5.49. Uh, family sizes for 6 dollars 
I mean, a mega size or giant size is going to be this price at Kroger. So, and we can sometimes find deals on that. That's why I always say we need to shop the deals as we see them. You know, even if it's something we're not going to use for a while, you know, if you get a deal on your favorite kind of cereal, buy one, get one free. You know, that's a good price. That, that makes that a awesome price. They do have a variety of snacks here. Hold on. It looks like we got an Oreo alert. Oreos. Um, just the gluten-free ones. That's interesting. Gluten-free, two for $9. Regular price, six twenty-nine. dollars Looks like they have the two for 10 on these a lot, but two for nine, four fifty dollars a piece for gluten-free. Yeah, I don't know. Looks like they do have some sales on all of them. Two for eight. So better than five twenty-nine. As far as pop goes, soda pop, soft drinks, whatever you call it, whatever part of the country you're in, and whatever you call it here, we call it pop here in Ohio. Um, yes, it is all of the Pepsi products. Buy two, get one free. I thought it was, but the sign just said Mountain Dew over there, uh, and that does carry over to the Coca-Cola. I don't know if you can mix or match though. Wow. $8.99 for a 12 pack of Sprite. Now that's buy two, get one free. But you're going to pay um, $17. $17 for that plus tax. Um, and that does, yeah, all the Coke products too. Again, yeah, I don't think you can mix and match on these because Coke is $8.99, Pepsi $7.99. They don't have many variety here. They only have three different kinds. There's a couple here. Whoa, somebody's got a dog in here. <laughs> <laughs> little yapper uh they are two for two uh making these a dollar a piece i've never tried any of the nice soda before though looks like they sometimes carry a cherry cola and just the regular cola they don't have any in though let me know down in the comments if you've tried any of the nice uh pop brands here and if they're any good okay so if you are looking for any medicines and i mean any it looks like walgreens I can't go over all of these, but it looks like there are sales literally on everything. Uh, let's check this one out here, Mucinex. $5 rewards on next purchase when you buy two or more participating cough or cold products. Okay, well, that's something. All these pain medicines, too. Leave. Look at this. I mean, you can't get a variety of medicines like at Walgreens. I don't care where you go. At least Walgreens around here, they're, they're always fully stocked, fully loaded. Uh, we get a lot of comments on how a lot of over-the-counter medicines are sh in short supply in a lot of grocery stores. Uh, and if you have to, it may cost a little bit more. Always check for these sales, though. I mean, there's a lot of them. Um, you can always count on Walgreens. I know a lot of people go to CVS, too. Um, yeah, we usually always shop at Walgreens, but I may check a CVS out. Uh, at some point but yeah they got some good deals uh, on some of this stuff buy one get one free uh, leave here 30 percent off buy one get one yeah i mean you got to do the math right because there's probably places that sell this for less of a price but when you start adding 30 percent of 30 percent off 50 percent off you know it can really be worth it to you well, you never really think to shop at walgreens for all this kind of stuff but you know, I mean, they do have a good amount of food here. I mean, snacks and, you know, the canned goods, the ridiculous, and the cereal. But they do have, like, stuff like this, like these Blue Diamond, uh, different variety, more variety than I've seen even at Kroger of these almonds that everybody seems to like. $5.99, yeah, they're $4.99. Uh, believe they're still $4.99 at Kroger. Uh, it's been a while since we've looked at them. But buy one, get one free. You can mix and match. You can get this one and this one. Yeah, okay, I mean, that, that makes it worth it. Well, they do have milk here. It is the Borden milk, which we've gotten some good comments on. It is $4.59 a gallon, though, which is pretty high for Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, $2.49 for a half gallon. They got the Dutch chocolate milk here, though, but that's pretty good. It is $3.99, though, for a half gallon. Some of these prices are a little high. For Fairlife at Walgreens, $3.99. Yeah, okay, um... But the lactate milk, four seventy nine. We've seen that a lot lower. Silk almond, we've seen a lot lower. Five twenty nine for simply orange juice is ridiculous. That's a dollar more than anywhere else I've ever seen. It is two for nine dollars though, making it four fifty a piece if you buy two. Hey guys, well that was our trip to Walgreens. Uh, it's good to go in and check out some stuff. There are some deals. Um, it's good to see that they're having a lot of buy one get one free 
or buy one 50% off. This is a place you definitely want to bring your calculator. Um, for the most part, it was good to go and look at a store of another option, right? Because if we don't, if we run out of something in one store, um, you know, this, this among many are other options, options that we were looking for last year when we couldn't find a lot of this stuff in the grocery stores. I know a lot of people were looking for sugar and stuff. People were going to Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, Dollar General uh, to find these things. So, you know, thank you to uh, who wanted me to come to Walgreens to do the video today. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was good to see some different stuff. Uh, but yeah, most of the stuff is pretty expensive. But, you know, do the math. Um, there are ways to save. You just want to make sure that you are saving and not overspending. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out there. Thank you.